What's up, all you good fellow fly guys? You know what it is the cat in the hat, your resident fly guy, your chief architect, Michael Landrew of StyleArchitects.com. Here to help you redesign your frame of mind when it comes to the styling thing. And it's what to wear Wednesdays. Yo, you have made it over the hump. Or at least you're making it to the hump. <laughs> so I hope that you've been showing up in style. But if you haven't, if you've been having some issues, if you've been having some challenges, then that is exactly why we are here to ensure that you're addressing yourself with the best of yourself. Now, today on What to Wear Wednesdays, I wanted to give you some insight into the difference between a silk pocket square and a linen pocket square so what what should you wear and what should you be getting when it comes to the pocket square which one is going to be more beneficial to you in different spaces well when it comes to the linen pocket square we're going to start out first and this is a, a very extravagant <laughs> pocket square um, then you want to think about the classic elements of a handkerchief now today as promised when we're going to talk about the difference between a handkerchief and a pocket square. Now, a handkerchief was actually functional when it first came out. The handkerchief would go inside of your interior breast pocket and you would pull it out if you needed to wipe your nose, if you needed to wipe off your brow. Um, it was very functional in making sure that, you know, you just had that in your pocket. Well, somewhere around the, the early 1900s, people started seeing that as unsanitary. Let's be real, if you have a booger in your pocket, that is kind of unsanitary and that's kind of nasty. And Kleenex ended up creating the disposable handkerchief. And that's actually what a Kleenex is. It's a, it's a disposable handkerchief. And so then again, when things became more fashionable, people just started adding this to their breast pocket. So if you want to think about classic um, and basic uh, spaces that you can get, I would definitely tell you and advise you to get a classic linen pocket square. Now again, this one is very expressive with it being the royal blue with the orange, uh, the orange trim on here, hand rolled stitching, um, and you can easily, and I would advise every man goes out and get a white pocket square. The only reason I'm not showing you mine is because mine got extremely dirty and I've had to send out for replacement. So. Um, but again, the reason why I love the standard pocket square is because it's easy to fold. You simply just put it as a square and make sure that it's folded to fit your breast pocket. And you can just, for instance, drop that right in there and you're good to go. It's no muss, no fuss, and it's a, a great space there. Versus, since I got it out, the silk pocket square, the silk pocket square, and this is a matted silk, so it's not as shiny, um, but the silk pocket square is for the guys who want to add a little bit of flair, want to have a little bit of fun with their pocket square. And the reason being is because there's so many different ways that you could really play with the pocket square. You can just plop it in there and make it a puff, right? You can do that. And just to, to give you some insight, if you ever want to make a puff, all you have to do is put it together like this so that it looks like a little puff. You see that? You got that little puff right there. And just drop it into your jacket. And then you just kind of manipulate it how you need to manipulate it. And boom, you're all set to go. It's just a little puff pastry that you got in there, a little puff of punctuation right there. Or you can take it, grab it by its center piece so that it hangs like this. Put a little ring in your finger just like this. Fold it over just like this and drop it in so that they can see those corners right there and just adjust. You have something like that, right? Just something cool that ties the rest of the look together, brings a little bit more color to, to the space. So that is it. So now you know how to add to your pocket square and hopefully you are aware of the differences of a linen and a silk pocket square. Listen, if you guys have any other questions about pocket squares or you would like to know more about the differences between the linen and how the construction goes and you want to know about the edges and how to spot quality uh, pocket squares, then let me know and I'll definitely make sure that we address that. Um, but you'll just have a basic understanding for now of the pocket square and why it is going to benefit um, for you to wear it those different types of ways. So please make sure that you let me go ahead and make sure I'm not naked out in these streets. We just talked about that yesterday. All right, so let me finish my pocket square. Add that. Boom, boom, boom. Right? 
so make sure that you give this a thumbs up if you found the information informative please make sure that you share this with a friend you never know somebody may need some insight into how to drop their pocket square into their breast pocket please make sure that you subscribe if you're feeling the vibe you know i'm here every monday through saturday at 6 30 p.m here to ensure that you are dressing yourself with the best of yourself and please don't ever forget that dress is nothing more than the expression of a man's state of mind so you should always dress to express i'll see you tomorrow peace